Hey, my peoples. Excuse my yellowness. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but it keeps doing it. It's pissing me off. I think we need to change the lights in the kitchen. So, any hoozy, welcome back for part two of What's for Dinner? Cooking with a retired professional chef. That's you, yeah, yeah, we know. That's me! Lily's making slime in the other room. Okay, so tonight we're going to make pork tenderloins. Absolute Midwestern favorite. Grew up on these, absolutely love them. Cannot find them here unless we make them. So in part one, I showed you how to cut your pork and what I'm gonna use to flatten it out. So you put it in your oiled bag, cut side up, and you wanna just kinda of start hitting it. You don't want to go super, super hard and be like, ah! That's what I would have done. She has done that. And she's put holes in meat. It's not funny. A bit brutal. You are brutal. Um, but what can happen with that is you actually go too far and then it, uh, you get holes in it. What you're trying to accomplish by this is breaking down the tissues in the meat. Literally splitting the fibers, making them relax and go from like this to this. Yep, kind of a brutal massage, but a massage. So I'll show you this after it's done. It's gonna take a little while. It is better if you're on a table or a counter or something that is solid, but right now I'm having to use a pop-up table. It's gonna take me a couple minutes. So now that these are all pounded out, yes, I got too aggressive. I'm going to put salt and pepper and garlic on both sides of these. If you have a problem when you season meat that your salt and your pepper aren't sticking, it's because you put on your finer powder first. Do your fresh ground pepper and your fresh ground salt first and it will stick. Let these sit while you make up the uh, breading. So for the coating, you're going to take a cup of flour, a tablespoon of garlic, a teaspoon of salt, and about a teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of like a Mrs. Dash type seasoning. Put it in a bag. Throw your meat in the bag. Give it a little jizz. Repeat. Do it again. You put the last one up. Seal this shut. Now gather it up like a big balloon and shake. Take them out, set them aside, and let this flour get tacky. Now the coating that goes on this is super crunchy, so we actually use saltine crackers crushed up. And crush them up pretty well. You can use panko if you are in a bind. It will not be as crunchy. However, I want to warn you, restrain from using regular breadcrumbs. It is not the same. It will not be nearly as crispy, as crunchy, or as flavorful. Crackers are the best. Then squeeze to make sure you don't have any big chunks. Dump this into your seasoned bag of flour. Add more Mrs. Dash and garlic. Come back for part three where I'm going to show you how to bread these and fry them up. Make the sandwiches. They're yummy, tasty, and delicious. Tell me what you think. Like. Follow me. Damn it, I know stuff. <laughs> oh, God.